Asset Intertech supplies an extensive range of validation, test and debug solutions for chips, circuit boards and systems. The ScanWorks platform for embedded instruments provides an integrated open environment for these solutions, which include boundary scan test, processor controlled test, high speed IO validation and test, and core instrumentation. The ScanWorks platform reduces development, manufacturing and repair costs by enabling test reuse throughout a product's lifecycle, from chip through board to system. Test reuse also means shorter product lead times. This short movie gives an overview of the ScanWorks processor controlled test solution that is used to validate, test and debug virtually any assembled PCB ranging from complex server and telecommunications boards through to highly integrated mobile devices. Board developers use Processor Control Test, or PCT, for prototype debug and failure analysis. In manufacturing, PCT is used to extend structural test coverage to provide at-speed, full-functional testing and high-speed flash programming. The debug and repair of manufacturing fallout and field returns are other important PCT applications. While the PCT application is generally run on a host computer that is connected to the unit under test, it can also be embedded as IP in a board to allow remote failure diagnosis and the maintenance of high availability systems. Diminishing test access is an increasing problem for traditional probe-based board test solutions, such as ICT and MDAs. High-density multi-layered boards with BGAs, 3D chip packages and other inaccessible circuit nodes prevent probe testing. Attempting to probe high-speed buses causes signal distortion. You probe it, you break it, as they say and the cost of in-circuit test fixturing is difficult to justify with ever shorter product lead times and life expectancies. It's also impractical for board prototyping and field return repairs. PCT's non-intrusive architecture overcomes the limited access, signal degradation and high cost issues of probe-based board test. The PCT test hardware is connected to the unit under test either via a JTAG port or the processor's debug port. A processor control pod converts signal levels and protocols to match those required by the board's processor. When running tests, PCT takes control of the processor and then instructs it sequentially to initialize and test all CPU addressable devices on the board. This process verifies memory, buses, bridges and I.O. devices at full operational speed. An optional I.O. emulation unit is available to automate the testing of complete I.O. device paths out to a board's external connectors. When PCT is running on a host computer, there are two varieties of test controller hardware. The first is an internal host controller card in combination with an external pod that connects to the UUT. The second is an Ethernet-based external controller for example, the RIC1000 shown here. For Intel-based UUTs, an additional pod 2 would be connected between the RIC controller and the UUT. LAN or Internet-connected RIC controllers allow the host computer to be sited in a different location from the boards being tested. So, for example, test developers based in the US could modify and perform tests on boards located at their contract manufacturer's site in China. The PCT hardware connects to the UUT either through an onboard header by using an interposer if no onboard header is provided or via a simple fixture if other access methods are not possible. PCT's user interface has three modes of operation. The interactive mode allows direct interaction with a board's processor memory and I.O. device registers. This is useful in board prototyping, board bring-up and failure diagnosis. Developer mode is where automated test scripts are created. This process is greatly simplified by the built-in automatic test generator or ATG. 
Operator mode is used to run pre-written test scripts and to provide diagnostic guidance for failing boards. There are four PCT software license types that are designed to match customers' needs. The PCT manufacturing license provides only operator mode for use in production environments. The PCT diagnostic and repair license gives access to interactive mode in addition to operator mode. And the PCT test development license includes all three modes. The PCT embedded diagnostics license applies to embedded PCT IP, which can be accessed remotely via a PCT interface or other test executives. The user interface is uniquely easy to learn and operate, allowing it to be used by less skilled personnel. In this manufacturing test mode, the operator simply clicks a Run All button to initiate the device tests that are listed in the left-hand window. After testing the full board within only a couple of minutes, PCT returns a simple pass or fail message. For debug and repair applications, a simplified block diagram of the board indicates which devices are failing, and optional diagnostic and repair guidance can be displayed in the results window. There are two modes of developing tests for a specific board. For standard architecture boards, there is an automatic test generator which interrogates a known good board to discover its components and then creates a test program with the aid of a built-in device description library. For non-standard architecture boards, the ATG can be used in manual mode and an easy-to-learn scripting language is provided to modify or create test scripts. Individual commands in this language perform many low-level functions, making it very easy to generate a test program for a specific board. Tests that are generated by the automatic test generator use the same scripting language, so they can be edited or modified by the developer. Tests that have been developed by users can be exported into a library for easy reuse on other boards that carry the same components. You can get a detailed diagnostic report to bus and component level. During test development, the board's netlist is imported. Components are associated with specific tests within the overall board script, and failure probabilities are assigned. This procedure allows detailed and summarized coverage reports to be displayed. PCT can also be operated in interactive mode to run individual functions such as read and write memory, allowing a particular problem to be analyzed in great detail. And fast flash programming is also included. PCT is designed with an open architecture to allow easy integration with any existing production test tools. It can be combined with other instruments such as DSOs and DMMs to create integrated test solutions. Its low-level test routines can be accessed and run from other test executives, such as National Instruments Test Stand, as shown in this example. Or it can be programmed using standard programming languages. So in summary, PCT provides significant benefits throughout a product's life cycle. It has high test coverage in only seconds or minutes. Its non-intrusive architecture overcomes the limited access signal degradation and high cost of probe-based solutions. It gives extensive diagnostics and guided fault isolation even on non-booting boards. You can increase the structural test coverage provided by ICT, MDA and in some cases boundary scan. PCT provides at-speed functional testing that can replace inefficient and costly custom functional test methods. It shortens the lead times to get new products to market. PCT overcomes board test bottlenecks in production lines, improving their beat rate. Embedded PCT IP allows high availability systems to be remotely diagnosed. And most importantly, PCT reduces test and debug costs throughout the product lifecycle. For an overview of PCT's user interface and features, please run our PCT Demo Movie. You can find this on our website by searching for PCT Demo on our homepage.
www.asset-intertech.com.